Hello folks, Shin Tiger Curl here, that dude in the straw hat, bringing you yet another wrestling review. I'm of course joined by my faithful cohort and roommate, Joe. Say hi, Joe. He's feeling a lot of distrusity tonight. It's Monday night, and you know what that means? Time for Raw. But this is a special Raw, because tonight is not just Raw, but it also is the season finale of Tough Enough. Now, I haven't talked much about Tough Enough, but I will say this, this has been a very good show, and I've enjoyed it a lot. I've had a lot of favorites on the show, a lot of what-the-fuck moments, but overall, it is, uh, it's a great show, and I, and I hope they have another season. It's hosted by Stone Cold Steve Austin, so tonight was the live finale. Well, first, well, let's get right to it. As usual, I got my notes. So, um, they call all the trainers to the ring, which comprised of Booker T., Trish Stratus and Bill DeMott, aka Hugh Morris. Then they called in all the people, all the, the, com the competitors who didn't make it to the finals, which most of them got booed. My boy Jeremiah, aka Big Rig, got a pretty good applause. So they called in the final two, Andy and Luke. Now, Stone Cold asked for the opinion of his trainers to see who they, they thought was going to win. They all thought Andy was going to win because, well, he's a big guy in big cells. And before Stone Cold give his, uh, uh, give his opinion, the boss comes out. That's right. Vincent Kennedy McMahon comes to the ring. And he gives his two cents, throwing up a good promo and throwing a little curveball for the, for the competitors. But in the end, Big Andy took the home the prize. And for his trouble, he receives a patented McMahon slap followed by a Stone Cold Stunner. We officially start the show with that, with R-Truth coming out in a Confederate uniform. Yeah, a black guy dressed as a Confederate soldier in the middle, at the, in the capital of Richmond, at, at Richmond, Virginia, the capital of the Confederacy. That is blatantly racist, but it's also kind of awesome. I mean, Truth is beyond warrior crazy now for doing this. Anyway, he says that he is seceding from the WWE, but he still wants to um, be to be WWE champion. So he apologized last week, so at two weeks at Capital Punishment, it'll be Truth versus Cena. Then The Miz comes out to talk about Stonewall Truth and pretty much says that he deserves another title shot. Alex Riley comes out saying that he doesn't want a title shot, but instead just wants to beat the Miz's ass again. Then, of course, Cena comes out and, you know, does his thing. The Raw GM chimes in, and Vince McMahon utters, utters four, four words that I, lo that I love to this day. Michael Cole, shut up! Joe loved it, too. And since he's the boss, he can make it whatever damn match he wants. So, today, tonight's main event, Miz and Truth versus Alex Riley and John Cena with Stone Cold Steve Austin, special guest referee. Best opening ever. Next up, we have Santino Morella versus Joe Perfect. Hopefully, this is a preamble match for their next title bout. A lot of people don't give Santino Morella a lot of credit, myself included, but he's actually quite skilled in the ring. He is very well skilled. It's the goofiness that puts people off, but once you get past that, you have a very, very talented in-ring competitor. Um, after some shenanigans outside, Santino Morella wins it with the Cobra. One, two, three. It's over. Next match. Kelly Kelly and Beth Phoenix versus the Bellas. Sadly, since Karma is out yeah, having birth, giving birth to her son or, or child or whatever it is now, the Divas have lost interest for me, so I don't really care about this match. Oh, and Kelly Kelly and Beth Phoenix won. Next up, Trish and Booker are talking backstage when Jack Swagger, the all-American American, comes out and decides to openly challenge the five-time, 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 five-time WCW champion to a match. And Booker agrees. Next up, we have CM Punk versus Rey Mysterio. Now, while I enjoy watching Rey Mysterio and CM Punk wrestle, this match, this type of, this series is just getting old. I mean, they settled their differences last year, and we don't need a rehash of this. 
They should be doing bigger and better things, much more than this. It was a good match, but Rey Mysterio won. So there's that. So they're tied one and one on Raw. Uh, next up, uh, they have one of those god awful capital punishment promos that I wish would just die. That is until our truth was revealed to have been in this one and started asking President Obama questions about himself instead of the the event itself. Somehow that led to a conversation about a boat and how our truth didn't want to get into a boat with Barack Obama. I like Crazy Truth. Uh, I think I missed a chunk of it when I went to the we get to get, make some sandwiches. But next thing I came, I saw Alberto Rio shooting a promo with Ricardo Rodriguez dressed as the Big Show. Nothing much, but nothing much. I wasn't too interested in it. It's not that I hate Alberto Rio, but nothing really, nothing really to watch about for this one. Next up, Kofi Kingston versus. Ugh, Zack Ryder. I know, I know. I've seen the show. It's not very... What? I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it, Joe. I don't care if you look at me like that. I'm not doing it. Fine. Joe is a member of the Zack Pack, so I have to do this. Woo, woo, woo. You know it. There, happy? Good. On with the match. Um, in the match itself, Kofi takes on Zack Ryder with um, Dolph Ziggler and, and Vicky Guerrero providing very excellent commentary about him. It was, and, they, and the match itself was pretty good. Zack Ryder has improved a lot, and I really like it, and really seem to enjoy him. It was a very close match. But Kofi wins, building up their feud, which hopefully will have a, a title match at um, Capital Punishment. Next up, Booker T comes out of retirement for one match to face off against Jack Swagger. Now, despite having not been in the, in the WWE ring for over four years, Booker has look, it looks good and moves very well in the ring. It looks like he hasn't lost a step since he's been there. Very, not many botches. There were some, but you just they weren't noticeable. So it was that was enjoyable to say the least. Uh, Swagger figures he doesn't want to fight the five-time WCW champion, so he leaves the ring and gets counted out. Evan, don't call me Matt Seidel, born. Super you know, kicks the guy, throws him back in the ring for a nice axe kick from Book, ending with a shooting star press from Evan Bourne. And it ends with both Book. And born doing the spinner rooney. Great to see you back in the ring, book, even if it's only for one time. Main event time Miz and Truth versus Alex Riley and Cena with special guest referee Stone Cold Steve Austin. There's a lot of animosity in this ring, a lot of good psychology from everyone. Riley looks a little better. Uh, he needs to get his acting a little down better for me. I, I just didn't feel he sold a lot of that stuff. There's a lot of leeway in the match because, hey, st fucking Stone Cold Steve Austin hosting. But yeah, um, the end comes when uh, at one point Truth gets a chair and tries to take Cena's head off. Cena drop kicks the chair in his face, and Mi then he and Miz clothesline each other. Then Riley gets in the ring with a st steel briefcase and looks like he's gonna hit Cena. He looks up at Miz with a look that just said, "Psych." and hits Miz. Then Miz gets a stunner for his trouble because he got in Stone Cold's face earlier and somehow and that somehow led into a, an F U. Cena always has to have the last word. One, two, three, Cena um, and Riley win. See that as they all celebrate with a nice beer bath, um, um, well I have to say this, I really didn't like the ending because it kind of makes, well, it's, I mean, I have to agree with, um, I have to agree with uh, Michael Cole for this. It really didn't make uh, Cena look all that good since he did some very heelish tactics in this to, to have a ref. it was very biased refereeing, so there's that. Anyway, um, after the match, the Raw General Manager chimes in and he says that he didn't like Stone Cold's biased refereeing, so he overturned the decision. So Miz and Truth 
won the match. Stone Cold goes out to go whoop, whoop Cole's candy ass. When the, um, when the Raw General Manager says that next week is a special three-hour all-star edition of Raw. So, he's decided to name Stone Cold the special guest general manager. Immediately, he destroys the, the computer and tells everyone to give him a hell yeah for that. Drags Cole in the ring, punches the crap out of him. Dumps beer all over him, and then stuns him. For some reason, this Cole is still on his feet long enough for Cena to F you him. And then he and Cena celebrate with a beer bash. Not liking Cena much right now. I don't know. It just seemed wrong the, the, the way the, it, the sequence of events went out. But I did enjoy Stone Cold. And I enjoyed Vince McMahon. So, final thoughts? Good Raw. The opening was very good. Showing how fucking insane our truth is now. Uh... Alex Riley is coming up a long way from from where he was. Uh, Booker T looked great out there in his match with Jack Swagger, although uh, poor Jack fell so far from the World Heavyweight title. And of course, Stone Cold is being Stone Cold is worth it in itself. But yeah, that's Raw. Oh, oh yeah. Alex Riley was on the. I mean, Zack Ryder was on the. On, was on. Had a match this week. Who cares? I'm not doing it again, so don't ask me to. He wants to be Broski of the week. Whatever. Well, anyway, that's Raw. Tune in this sun, this Thursday for Impact Wrestling. If you haven't heard, Mick Foley is gone from TNA. No, seriously, he's gone. He is no longer a part of TNA. No, I'm serious. He is gone. He's not there anymore. This is not a story. This is not kayfabe. He is not with TNA. And can you really blame him? Would you want to be on a program where two elderly men are stroking their dicks in front of millions of fans on a weekly basis? Well, that's enough for that. I'll save that for Thursday. But anyway, there's a Shin Tiger Curl, that dude in a straw hat, and Joe, saying good night. And wrestle on.